So in the previous video I showed you how to uh, set up an event and everything using um, Ticker in WooCommerce and your, for your WordPress website. So this time I'm going to go to the next step and create a ticket and then link that ticket to that event, okay? So we'll show you how that works now. So in, the, in your WordPress dashboard, we'll go down to products because a ticket is a product now i'm not talking about the the downloadable pdf that you're going to send them or the printable uh ticket itself i'm talking about the the ticket type so you like you'll have adult or child or senior maybe vip early bird they all have different pricing they all have different um buy you know time availability times you know early bird might be available for a month before um, normal ticket um, go the uh, tickets go on sale uh, those types of things so that's just something to keep in mind when we're talking about tickets in this video so here we are here we've opened up the products um, page now and we're going to just I'm just going to edit this one here quickly um, and then then we'll go through and show you what to how, how that looks like for a new for a new ticket so let's just click on here and just open it up so just like any other product we have the uh, the name of the product at the top then we have the permalink which obviously you can edit if you've um, duplicated this for a new ticket um, up here the top part we have the 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 times and the dates and any uh, terms, conditions, cancellation policy, etc., etc. Then we have the actual um, attributes and everything like that. Okay, um, and everything here. Now it is very important to click this here that this product is a ticket because otherwise it just sits like a product, like a physical product in your uh, in your in your e-commerce store. So we click that. Then the next really important thing here is it's we've got to link it to an event. Okay, so by default it links it to the top event, which is really good. So, but if it was for one of the other ones, we would we would change that there. Okay, so we've we've added it to this one. The number of chickens per ticket. Okay, we just we want just maybe one, so people can check in once. Now maybe you might set that to two or three if. Uh, say people might go out at lunchtime and then come back in and you want to check them out and check them back in again or, or just check them back in again that they, they are they are relevant ticket holders and those types of things or if you're not worried about it just leave it to unlimited um, at the moment we've got um, ticket template is default so you can have different templates of printable printable and physical tickets dependent on the ticket obviously you could put things on some of them early bird tickets might have a uh, downloadable um, or a free free uh, coupon code or something like that that's actually printed onto the ticket so you might want to you might want to offer that as a like a like a bonus um, available dates for the ticket selling this is open-ended okay so if it was for a specific time or date you can you can put that so it automatically shows and then it automatically takes it down after those dates and then available times for check-in open ended as well but if you're wanting to say this was a ticket for um just a one you know an afternoon or a morning of a particular time you can select that ticket is only available for check-in say from 8 a.m till 12 lunchtime okay anything after that sorry uh no check-in now because you don't hold the appropriate ticket okay so that's another good thing to think thing to add as well okay um and then we have a short description of the ticket there and a product image over the side here okay you can add tags and bits and pieces like that it's an event so click on the events on the right hand side now we have wholesale pricing options here very important to disregard the product um, the wholesale 
in here unless you're going to add, give a special special pricing for wholesalers uh, in your in your in your business, okay? And they get the same wholesale benefits as if they were purchasing a, a standard product. Because remember, these tickets are actually products, okay? Um, published date. Don't have to worry too much about those. And um, and and then you just yeah, you hit preview changes or save the changes, and and publish it. Okay, so you you you're updated if you if you're editing. So let's just back out of there. Oh no, I, I made some changes here, didn't I? I changed that to which the where the event was. So I need to save that and update it. And there we go. That's all done. Okay. So that ticket is now live. It's linked to that event, and it is ready for you to uh, send drive people to the to the product page and um, send them out because that product that ticket will actually show in your store if you've got events selected to as a category to show inside your store. Okay. Any other bits and pieces that you'd, you'd like help with? Just um, fill out in the comments below and um or flick me an email steve at bizweb.com.au and i'm more than happy to help cheers